Okay guys, so this is the wire base that I finished up. Basically you cut the ends of the wire shorter and form them into a really cool coil pattern in to whatever it is that you like. The second type of boutonniere that I want to show you was the one that I posted on Facebook last night and that had three different pieces of wire, two different colors. So basically we, what we need to do is find a point where we want to bend it and again like the other one, keep it flat and make a bend, making sure to keep the ends of your wire from getting tied up with the with the other ends. All right, so we make a nice sweet bend, smooth. We'll grab this end again, bring it around. What we want to do is keep it flat. Now I'm holding my hand, I'm holding my thumb and my finger here at this intersection while I bend it out and around. That way it keeps it as flat as possible. You can see that if you were just to yank it around, the, the wire would just go completely wrong. So hold on to it here while we bend it back. And because this wire is going up over top, you would make, keep, you'll keep it more flat if you put this over top again so that it sits flush on this wire and it's on the same plane as the wire that was, that's, that's coming up this direction. So you can see how that all comes together nicely. Keep it smooth and do one more coil. This one, because I didn't quite cut the wire long enough, I'm going to have to make kind of a tight coil. This guy, this long piece here, I'm going to coil up and around. So he's going to come up over top. We'll bring him back around, keeping him flat, nice and flat. And if I had cut this long enough, I'd have been able to make a few more coils on both sides. But that's basically how you have that. That's basically how you have that. It's nice and smooth, nice and flat. What I would maybe do is take some of the smaller spool, the aluminum, um, uh, the metallic wire that's on the spool, and run a couple, run one piece back here to hold it nice and tight. I band it super tight, and then make a small little coil in back. And then that way, once they have it on their lapel, that's a small piece that of wire, small loop, that they can pin it through. So this is really rough, but hopefully you understand how it is I'm able to create these really cool wire frames. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope it helps.